Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do several hairstyles in one. I recently got my hair cut in a much different way. Actually the bangs, my stylist changed up how she did my bangs. And so I thought that would lend itself to doing some fun and crazy different styles. These are gonna be quick change. So I'm going to just kind of go from one to the next to the next, and we'll see how many styles we can get into this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, I did put a really good conditioner on my hair today, a hair mask, but I'm gonna start off with a little bit of the Redken One United. This is 25 benefits in one. This serves not only as a conditioner, but also as a heat protectant, because I'm not sure how much heat we're gonna be putting on it today. I'm also going to add a little bit of my favorite root boost. This is Catwalk Root Boost. Yes, this is now widely available again. I still get questions about whether it is discontinued or not. It has not been discontinued. So I'm going to put a little bit of this here at the crown, I always do that because I have a big cowlick there. So that's where I need a little extra volume. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit here through the top. I wanna be careful since I have shorter hair right now, I don't need as much product. So I've had to scale back even from what I'm used to before this cut. And then lastly, I do want to add some of this Kenra Nitro Memory Cream. Now this is not necessary, but again, because I'm doing multiple looks, I kind of want to give my hair a little extra grit and texture, and this does it. Now you do have to shake it up, and I am just using the smallest amount of this. I like this on the ends of the hair because it says it gives your hair three-day style memory. <laughs> That's why it's called Memory Cream. But I feel like what it does is it really just allows your hair to stay in whatever style you're doing or to be restyled quite easily. And again, like I said, it gives it more grit. I have very thick hair, but this works wonders if you have finer, thinner hair as well. So as you can see, my undercut, my last salon visit, I'll link down below because I got color this time. My undercut portion, you can see it's a little bit gold in there. She didn't go quite as light this time, but overall I'm loving the extra blonde and you'll see that come out as we blow dry. For the initial blow drying, again, I'm gonna be focusing on just a little bit more volume here at the crown, volume in the top and then we'll have some fun styling. I'm using the Zuby Halo hair dryer, and I'm gonna start off with the first setting that has light and air. Keep this real simple. I know a lot of you 
hate it when I don't do something like this and you're like, why don't you just leave it? So we're going to just leave it, but I'm going to add a little bit of the generic version of the Kenra dry texture spray. I'm actually just going to spritz this on my hands and I just want to piece out my bangs a little bit. So I'm not spraying it in the hair because I want to keep as little product as possible for this first look because we're going to style it several more times. But I am putting a little bit of this in here. So if you want to wear your hair like this, just add a little bit of something like this to keep it kind of volumized and in place somewhat throughout the day. So here we go. Look number one. And this would be one of those movable, movable hairstyles. So if you're somebody who likes to kind of touch and restyle your hair and move it as you go throughout the day, this would definitely be the look for you. Okay, so style number one. Super easy, just blow dry a few products. Yes, several products, but little bits of those products and you're gonna be good to go. Now, because I have hardly any product in here, we can easily go on to another look by just adding a little bit of product. So the next look I want to do is actually to pull over to the side here. And in order to do this, I'm going to add a little bit of Enjoy Dry Wax just to help some of these smaller pieces of hair stay in place. So Enjoy Dry Wax, sorry. I've used this so many times in videos that I forget some of you are new here and you may not know what I am talking about. All right, so this I just used, I mean, just a little bit on my fingers and all this is gonna allow me to do is place and Kind of sweep over the front section. You see these tiny little bangs here. They do need a little product if you want them to behave, so just know that. And I'm going to actually put just a tiny little bit through the back just for a little extra look of texture. So I do use a mirror to check out the back. So just so you know, all right. So look number two, I forgot. I haven't been putting in earrings. Let's put in some earrings here, shall we? So it looks a little more finished. All right, look number two. And then again, because I haven't hairsprayed it in place, it is still somewhat flexible, but that Enjoy Dry Wax just helps it stay a little better in place than the previous style. All right, let's go on now and let's have a little more fun. So let's push the bangs up. And in order to do this, we're gonna need some more Enjoy Dry Wax and we may also need the use of our flat iron, but let's just see. All right, I'm gonna add some more Enjoy Dry Wax. And I'm avoiding using the flat iron until I get to kind of some of the last uh, styles, just because a flat iron makes the hair kind of, it almost permanently puts it into that style. So if I flat iron this down, it's pretty much gonna wanna go down that way for the rest of the day, which is fine if that's your finish style. But since we're having a little fun here, I just thought I would not use that just yet. Okay, so this is what I would call kind of like a side little mohawk. I told you, we're just having some fun and playing, but this is actually a really fun way to style. And because now my bangs are shorter, it allows me to do this and it's not so high in the front. So that is one advantage of slightly shorter bangs here on top, but I still have the length to kind of do something fun here. All right, and then I am going to add a little extra wax here on the sides. Piece this down. And now 
We're gonna bring in just a little bit of hairspray for this look. I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is the Bedhead Hardhead Extreme Hold Hairspray. And I'm just going in with a little bit of this right here. And through the top. And again, if this were my finish style for the day, I would add a little more hairspray just to cement it in place. Okay, here is our finished look. And in the back, I just pushed this more into a little bit more of a V. I did also kind of fluff it just a little bit more. That's something you could do on any of these styles but I think it's just fun to change up the front and the back. I actually really love this. I think the top, I'll bend down so you can see a little more clearly. So this would be a little more of a side mohawk kind of a look. So I actually love this look so much that I don't want to mess it up, but let's do some more styling. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this side and that Enjoy Dry Wax, again, because I have not completely hairsprayed it in place. It's still pretty pliable, but Enjoy Dry Wax does not fully dry down like a gel or a mousse does. And so it remains somewhat pliable so you can rework the hair in a totally different style. And if it's next day, you might have to pull out your blow dryer, but right now it's still so flexible and I can just rework it and let's go into the next style. So opposite side than I usually do. And I mean, can we make it any easier? There we go, done, voila. And I would probably add a little more hairspray if this were my finished look for the day. The back, usually when I go over to the other side, I don't have to adjust too much of what's going on up here. You may just have a few little stray hairs sticking up there that you need to tame down. Same goes for this side. But again, if you have a really good cut, your style is probably gonna have some good flexibility just like this. And all right, we're gonna leave it right there. Here we go, here's the next look. This next look is gonna be even more simple. I'm just taking this front section that's already going this direction. I have a very nice sparkly pin here or bobby pin, I should say, and I'm just going to pin that in place. Now this would definitely probably be better if you do a regular bobby pin first and then this over it. I don't happen to have any regular bobby pins, so we're just gonna go with the sparkly little bobby pin there and we'll kind of zhuzh this up just a little bit here. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of some Enjoy Dry Wax and use that to just kind of fluff this hair. Okay, here we go. Next look. Very fun. You could definitely do this for a night out. Obviously, I'd probably change out my earrings to go with whatever I've got going on here. But now let's go on to the next look. So even though we've brought this over to this side, let's see, what else can we do while it's over here? Let's, all right, I'm going to now play with the sides here. And we're gonna make this a little more dramatic here in the front. I am going to use a tiny bit of hairspray here. I'll lift this section just so it looks a little more textured. And again, finished look for the day, I would definitely spray the sides up just a little more here. Or you can add a little bit of Enjoy Dry Wax like I will. And this is just going to give it 
a little more hold power going to the side. All right, next finish look. And then for the next look, we're just gonna change up the back. You've seen me do this before, but I am just pulling the hair over to the side that I have it swept to. And that is because I'm working with my cowlick to do this. So this is kind of going with the flow of my cowlick and I thought, you know, why fight it, right? So just gonna sweep that over. And again, I would probably add a little more hairspray just to hold it in place. So here now is the finished look, just changed up the back. All right, that completes these quick hairstyling looks. I hope that you enjoyed this and that it gave you some new inspiration. Who says short hair is boring, right? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.